Whether it's winter or summer, the Olympic Games give athletes a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for greatness. They work endless hours to reach their athletic peak, performing on the world stage for sport and country. But in 2012, a headline event became such a laughingstock, so comically tainted by controversy, that we may never see such thoroughly dirty competition ever again at the Games. This is the worst Olympic race. London Stadium, London, England, the women's 1500 meter final at the Summer Olympic Games, August 10th, the year of our Lord 2012. A particularly terrific year for women in the Olympics, as it's the first year that all participating countries send women to the Games, including Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Brunei. Also, we have women's boxing for the first time. Yes! Anyway, these are your finalist faces running the 1500, an always tough middle distance event that requires speed, endurance, and strategy. And these athletes have all of that. Well, and some of them, a little bit extra. But you know what? It's the summer of 2012, and Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe is spending an extra long time at number one. Sheriff Joe Arpaio is extra positive that President Obama's long-form birth certificate is fraudulent. No doubt about it. And Lance Armstrong becomes the highest profile athlete to be banned from Olympic sports for an extra long amount of time. Life for doping. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. You can see where we're going here. After just over four minutes, the race is over and the results are in. Turkey's Asli Kakir Aptekin takes home the gold. Silver goes to Turkey's Gamzi Balut with Bahrain's Mariam Yusuf Jamal earning bronze. But, spoiler alert, most of these results won't stand and you'll soon find out why this has been called the dirtiest race in history. Let's zoom out and start towards the back. Eighth and ninth place, a pair of local Brits, Laura Waiten and Lisa Dobrisky, who, in a nice bit of foreshadowing, will both air their suspicions about the cleanliness of their competitors. Which brings us to Ekaterina Kosetskaya, Russia, former hurdler and 800 meter competitor. She tests positive almost two years later to the day in 2014, during a month that saw Transformers Age of Extinction dominate the box office, and don't worry, here's even more transforming. Up a little from there, Natalia Kareva, Belarus, busted for doping two years after the race in September of 2014, with results from 2010 on, including this one, disqualified completely. Oh, and speaking of disappointment after two years, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie got married right then in 2014, only to divorce a couple years later. Up a little bit more, and like Brangelina, also disappearing, fifth place, Abeba Aragawi of Ethiopia. Four years later, she too is suspended for doping, but that penalty is rescinded shortly after because of a lack of proof over the timing. Fourth place, Tatiana Tomashova, Russia, who ran in 2004, took silver, missed 2008 as part of a doping ban, but runs a good race in London, clean, as of this recording. Bronze medal, Mariam Yusuf Jamal, the first Bahraini to win an Olympic medal ever. And wait, she did it clean? This is an enormous deal for Jamal, Bahrain, track and field, and for the Olympics. But with hindsight, it is actually incredibly infuriating because silver and gold. The Turkish duo of Gamzi Balut and Asli Kakir Aptekin both eventually test positive and are stripped of their medals for doping. Balut tests positive in 2016 and has her previous results wiped out. Aptekin gets caught a few months after the race in 2013 and then again a couple years later, which gets her a lifetime ban in September 2017 for repeated offenses, leaving her with plenty of time to binge on the newly released season 3 of Narcos on Netflix. We had no idea what we were in for. There they all are in all of their asterisk glory, tainted by an unquenchable thirst for scientific help running 0.93 miles. So yes, on the world's biggest stage in a games defined by a big win for equality, the women eventually showed that it didn't just have to be the men gaining infamy for track and field doping. We got an overwhelmingly dirty field, a full on doping party to taint everyone's insanely hard work to get to London and the world's belief in impressive middle distance running. So remember this Olympic fans, you might learn about tear jerker backstories, you might see terrific performances, but 2012 taught us one thing, unless you're a curling fan, trust no one. Don, if you're watching this, it means I'm dead. Oh, sorry. Uh, subscribe to SB Nation, comment below, tell us what worst you want to see. Thanks for watching.